In the late 19th century, City College, after inhabiting uh, borrowed space in Midtown for about 50 years, decided that uh, it needed its own campus and that that campus would be a uh, world-class piece of architecture uh, that would be emblematic of the commitment to make this institution uh, one of the great universities uh, of the Western world. The architecture would provide an instant history, uh, a, a sense of place that would connect back uh, to the great schools of Europe and of the United States. In um, 1897, there was a competition. George Post uh, submitted two entries. Two versions of a similar plan. Uh, one was a, um, a Beaux-Arts classical version and one was a Gothic revival version. Post is reported to have preferred the, uh, the Beaux-Arts a neoclassical uh, expression. The facade that would have existed on St. Nicholas Terrace was a very regularized expression of windows and pilasters with a large rectangular building element at the center and then fairly repetitive bays extending out to the, uh, to the corners of Convent Avenue and uh, what would have been 138th Street. The elevations along Convent Avenue, they would have been similarly um, repetitive uh, facades. There were colonnades that uh, brought people uh, from uh, what would have been the extension of the 139th Street. The colonnade was um, th this very important um, entrance which comes into a formal garden uh, which is the triangular uh, court uh, within uh, the outlines of the overall building. The original plan that Post submitted was something that was almost a, um, a precedent for uh, the modern uh, megastructure campus idea of a single building that incorporates all of the functions uh, that a college needs to have. The Great Hall, uh, which was completely internal to that plan, would not have, uh, would not have had an architectural presence on the street. It seems to me that the neoclassical solution, which uh, was inherently a, uh, a more contemporary uh, approach to planning, uh, that had it uh, been developed, it could have been uh, one of the uh, almost archetypal prototype buildings uh, of uh, large-scale modern development. It looks as though when the decision was made to move to a, uh, a Gothic revival building, 
uh, the planning changed somewhat. Uh, the plan itself opened up and became um, much more delicate in many ways uh, and certainly more both picturesque and uh, impressive from an urbanistic point of view. The main tower, uh, which is such a profoundly important symbol uh, of the college, uh, didn't exist in the original scheme. And the notion of opening up the building to the sides of the Great Hall created uh, the, the wonderful yards that exist uh, between the Bell Tower and South Tower and the wings now. Uh, as well as making the Great Hall itself visible from the street. It, it would have been very interesting to see what the campus would have been like had uh, the uh, neoclassic solution been uh, more fully developed. I, I am sorry in a way that we don't know what it might have been.